and welcome to Kerry's Cards. I'm going to show you today in this tutorial how to make a square pop-up card, box card. So when it's flat, it looks like a normal four by six card there. But as you open it up, you'll see there that it turns, transforms into a little square pop-up box. So hopefully you can see how that works there. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. I'm using Les Shoppies from DS Designer Series Paper from the current Stampin' Up! catalogue. So I've got a few couple of sheets there. But I've got a couple of offcuts from um, some Misty Moonlight and some white. And also the base card we use in Balmy Blue. So let's get crafting. Put this out of the way. The first thing you'll need for this um, kit is obviously your, your trimmer. Now we're going to make sure that, or we're going to cut out using our balmy blue first. We need 10 by 8 inches. So let's get that done first. So 10. By 8 inches. Which is almost the width of that card. Then we're going to turn it back round and on the long side, we're going to score at two, four, six, and eight. I'm trying not to sing who do we appreciate. And then we're going to turn it round and on the um, eight inch side, we're going to cut up four inches cut this time not score so cut oh, look how bad that is if you find that your um card stock is doing that and you want to give a little bit more life i'm i've got a little sanding block here so an emery board or something like that would be good a nail one of those nail blocks it just takes the loose ends off and two inches then Takes the rough edges off. There we go. Let's keep that out just in case. So there are um, three main pieces of card. So what we'll do first is I'll just show you how to build this box up with a card base. So the first thing we're going to have to do is because it's a moving card, remember, we need to make sure that we burnish each of our folds. And then do it the opposite way as well, just to make sure that the um, it picks it up and folds properly. And let's do this one. And don't forget to do it the other way. And then the last one. pieces of card now normally I would say to decorate the um, boxes before or the, the card before we actually stick it all together but in this example I think it's easier if we put it all together because you can see where you actually need to pop your cards together so on this piece here I'm going to put some glue so we have all of our card that we cut so all our pieces are like that and then i want to put some glue on each of these pieces here on the last one don't need much you could use um permanent glue if you wanted then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this one over fold it in and 
on top of itself there. So we're going to make ourselves a square. Hold it in place and then make sure that when we fold it down, it's nice and flat. And if it's not quite right, then we just do your score lines again. So that's box number one. Do the same for the next small one. Hold it in place. Then flatten it down just to make sure that when you fold it down, the score lines are all in the right place. Two, and let's do the same for the taller back one. Okay, there we have our three um, boxes that we need to use, that we're going to use. Now I want to make sure that the crease is at the back of the card. So that is going to, I'm going to put it to the back of my face and away from me and pop it down onto the table like that. Then these two, we're going to do the same again. So we want the back where it's joined. I want that at the back of the card. So I want that facing away from me. And similarly, I want the same again. So those two are, oh, there we go. There we are. So I've got the folds there. And I want them facing away from me, so they're going to go onto the other base card that way, like that. So I'm going to tip it so they're facing up at the moment. And I want to put glue on each of those two folds there. Then, once the card is down flat, I'm going to tip it over. I'm going to put them onto the taller square that we've made both with the sticky glue bit oh sticky glue bit on the bottom okay so then when we open it up we'll be able to see that that is our base bit of our mechanism it's quite straightforward so it can either when you want to post it you can either post it flat like that or you can post it so that it's gone like that which is how we've done this one. So it's very pretty, you can see all the pattern on it. If we do it that way, it's lovely, but you'll get the base of the box here. If you see here, when I fold it up, you see that we've got the base of the box. Okay. Now I've got a bit of glue on my card there, so I'm gonna just try and get it off with my glue rubber. There we go. So when we're gonna then decorate the card, we now know that which squares we're gonna pop our misty moonlight. So let's pop that over there and bring in our trimmer again. Now these are my off cuts. I think they should be wide enough, they might not. Let's just see, where's my trimmer gone here? So now I want six blue, misty moonlight pieces of one and three quarters by one and three quarters. So I'm hoping that that's one and three quarters. Yep. And then let's just check on six pieces of this. One, two, three, four. Not quite enough. I'm doing this more now because it's actually because it's darker a dark color going on light they'll be really obvious right let's get another scrap piece of card and i'm actually going to clean out the gully here just see if that helps me for a bit see all the gunk that's in there that should hopefully help clean it a bit so one and three quarters again that's just per maybe a little tad too big so let's take a little slither off Okay, and then I want, I've got four pieces, I need two more, so one and three quarters, and one and three quarters. So they're my six pieces there. Put the moonlight away, then I want six white card pieces for the next layer, and these are all at one and a half inch. One and a 
half as well because that was three inches no, just slightly over and I want six of those now this trimmer the blade I know it's a bit blunt at the moment but it will cut so I'm just piled them on top of one another two pieces of card at a time so that's two four and six there we are there's our six pieces of white card let's get rid of the other pieces that we don't need now and then on the one i've shown you i've used the tile pattern on the back of one of the pieces of card papers sorry for the designer series papers um there we go so these are some leftover pieces that i've got that i haven't utilized at the moment so this is the one i'm looking at using now now what you can do in this one is you can cut it out so these need to be um the dsp are one and a quarter by one and a quarter i've got a punch that is one and a quarter by one and a quarter and i'm going to use my square punch um, because I want to make it still look tiled and it's easier to do it symmetrically. Now this is because I've got a pattern that follows um, and it's symmetrical, whereas if you're just using a piece of normal DSP, you would be able to, um, go over here, you'd be able to just cut some one and a quarter pieces by one and a quarter pieces. As I said, because I want this to be symmetrical, I'm just using my punch and eyeballing where the next bits are. So I need to get into, let's get rid of these bits here. So I can get into this one here. So I want that one. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to go over a shop. One, two, three, four, five. I still need another two. Another one for six. There we are, that's six. So that's all my. Oh no, we need another piece of white. Sorry, I forgot that. We need some white card to go on the back so you can write your message. So these are two pieces of um, six. No, sorry, two pieces of one and three quarters by three and three quarters. So, so three and three quarters by one and three quarters. So I think I need another piece that's not quite, so that's one of them. And then get another scrappy piece of card and this is three and three quarters by one and three quarters. There are two pieces there. So that is all that we need at the moment in terms of decoration. So then it's just a case of laying it all up. I'm going to use my trusty um, Tombow glue. Just so it's quick and easy. All my white pieces first. That's where I find out that I've, hope I've cut everything enough. That's another piece. Five. And then I'm going to put my tiles on. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
And then it's just a case of putting them onto the card. So one, two, So we get a lovely little tiled effect. Put them all down. And then just zoom in a little bit. Okay. And there we have the basic framework for our pop-up box card. Now on this one, what I've done is I've taken one of the shops and I've cut it out. So shall we do, it's a bit tall. Shall we go for, that was quite sweet, but it's quite tall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top off there. So a bit of fussy cutting. And when you fussy cut, these are lovely to do because they're so nice and straight. But you normally move the paper, not your scissors when you cut. And the reason for that is I don't really know why, but it seems to work better. Maybe you've got more control over. Right, I said I was going to cut the top off because I don't want. It's too high otherwise. So we're going to go for that one. And because we've got ice creams on this one, this is an ice cream shop, um, I'm going to actually also cut this bit out. Concentrate now, I've gone quiet. There we go. Let's put that over there. And then I've got ice creams here. So one of the other cards, the air papers on the back of it has ice creams this one it was lovely that bit so i'm going to cut out a couple of the ice creams i'm going to go for that one there because it's right in the corner screens there and then so what I've done on this one to make sure that when we open up the box the card it stands correctly you're only going to stick your um, cut out on the left hand side because this is slightly prouder than the I want to make sure that it's just below that line, so I'm just going to use a few, the small ones, and pop that in the centre, like so. So then when I open it up, it's standard, it stays where it should be. Now this one, I want it to pop up a little bit, so these two here, how I've done it is quite literally a little piece of white card that I folded in half. And so I'll do the same again here. So 
small piece of white card just make sure that when I stick it on the back so it's still a bit too big because I don't want to see it from behind the ice cream and then I have quite literally folded it in half and then stuck it with glue So there's the glue and popped it. The glue that is on the bottom. Can you see there? And then what I'll do is I will stick glue on this bit and then pop it down there on the card. So that then it's like a 3D pop up. And it stands up a little bit on the card. Can you see? And then all it needs then, if you wanted to put another one, you could. And then you just need a happy birthday or whatever greeting you want to do. I think that's a bit too big. So let's find another piece of scrap card. And then um, I'm going to use sentiment and find my cutouts this one so on this one i've used the charming sentiments and wishing you the happiest of birthdays which is this one here i'll do it in the um, misty moonlight as well let's put that up there so you can see what i'm doing Obviously, you can use any greeting that you want. And then I'm going to quickly run it through my trimmer on the side. here we have now pre-cut out and I'm just going to use one of the multi-dimensionals again again make sure that we only put them on the one side because you don't want it to stick otherwise the box won't open at the top and there we have so when it opens up we have a lovely little pop-up card there I've done a couple of other examples to show you so here is let's move that out of the way here is another one with the um there's shoppies um similar principle but this time instead of putting the um tiles on there i left it plain and put some tiles on the inside that you should hopefully be able to see that's another one and then i use the beautiful balloons to um memories and more for this one so this one's a bit of a party time one and again this time i use the inside i put some stuff to jazz it up a bit and then oh i forgot to say we haven't put our thing so i've done there i've added on it somewhere you can write and something different i never put these on the back did we let's go back and put these on so hopefully that's one one just so people can write their greetings and things the other one i cut was too small i won't put that one on for now then so there we have a, a trio of pop-up boxes using the um the shoppies design series paper thanks for watching any comments or if you'd like to share what you've made that'll be lovely don't forget to share this um like and share my video and then uh, I'll look forward to showing you my next tutorial. Thanks. Bye.